Hey everybody, happy Friday. All right, let's see if my phone is gonna pop out of where it is. Hopefully not. Woo, it's Friday again, here we are again. Hello, let's see if you guys can find me. Am I in the right place? Am I in the right place? I'm always worried. Haven't done that in a long time, gone live in the wrong place. All right, good, looks like I'm in the right place. Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to Facebook Friday. Today we are doing, oops, I didn't even grab the stamp set over here on the trays. Nuts and bolts. How stinking cute is this robot? I mean, oh my gosh, so cute. Hi, Ashley. Um, I absolutely love this set. This is my favorite kind of stamp set, you guys know. Um, we're going to color today with Stampin' Blends, of course, and we're going to make Valentine-themed projects, <clears throat> although... Nothing on here says Valentine's. I just, you know, in my mind thought Valentine's. But as I was typing things up, I realized none of these are Valentine's. So that just means that you can take the stamp set and use it all year long. It's great for those of you that have kids or grandkids that you make things for. Um, now, it's not limited to kids, obviously, but it would be a good kid set for sure. All right, hi everybody, so good to see you guys. Um, if you have never joined me for Facebook Friday before, make sure you hop over to pinkbuckaroo.com. I just checked it to make sure this week that it was working. It's working. Something weird happened with my blog. Yesterday, the post from Monday suddenly was gone. Like it was gibberish. So weird. And I had noticed it. Someone else had noticed it, emailed me. I went over there. I just opened it and saved it again and then it was fine. So I don't know what's going on in my blog. Hopefully it doesn't do that again. It was very weird. You don't have a new place that's housing my blog and so <clears throat> it's kind of been a learning curve for me trying to figure it all out. But anyways, um, that post is up. The PDF is at the bottom. Um, the clean recordings are loaded. Everything is good. This has been a very productive week. Although my kids had early release on Wednesday and no school on Monday. What the heck? I swear they've had so little school. Um, but it's been a very productive week. I have two new things to show you. I have a new class to go that I just listed right before we went live. So it's not on my blog yet. Um, I think I'll show you that first. This is my class to go for February. And it features the flower flowering rain boots and by the way rain boots is two words not one <laughs> every time i type it i want to type it as one and it changes it to rainbow it is not it's not a compound word <laughs> anyways my spelling saga continues um here it is so flowering rain boots class to go for february um this class has six projects five of them are cards um, then let's see, one of them is a, like a seed pocket gift whole card holder thing, but not only do they feature the flower, that's hard to say, flowering rain boots bundle, which is this, one of my very favorite things in the catalog. I love, love, love this bundle, but I also use the new layering masks. Guys, these are are amazing they're quite magical um you can see this card right here i'm not going to show you the whole thing but all of this was done with those masks um just really really cool so the class to go will include a video um i think it's about 16 minutes long showing you how to use those masks um they're a little bit different than normal masks uh so there's within the pdf of course the pdf is like always has each project um, photo, directions, supplies, but then at the, the first page of the PDF, there will be a link to a video showing you how to use the masks. So this class will include two ribbon, two bolts of ribbon and some polished dots. You can get it with the bundle or without the bundle. I'm also changing my shipping. I have been shipping flat rate envelopes for a very long time. They're padded. And the only place you can get them is from USPS.com. They don't have them at the post office. You have to order them way ahead of time. Um, well, a couple of weeks ago, they were unavailable. You couldn't order them anymore. So I kind of panicked. Um, 
And then I started really kind of thinking about how expensive flat rate shipping can be. Flat rate shipping is great if your project is heavy. So if I'm shipping you punches or paper, you know, like a huge pack of paper, then flat rate is the way to go. It's the cheapest. But when most of my class kits aren't that heavy. So I'm gonna switch my shipping. We're gonna test it out for maybe a month or two to first class shipping. It's gonna save you about $3 in shipping. Um, the only difference really is that it doesn't have insurance. Um, but what I was finding with those flat rate envelopes is that insurance, you the post, postal service would never pay on the insurance claims. So I thought, you know what, let's try this. So insurance, I mean, shipping you'll see now is $6, okay? We're gonna give it a try. I think it'll be fine. I ship a lot of things first class too, so. Um, well, Jody, you know what? My friend Rhonda said they were back in stock yesterday or day before, those envelopes. She said she could order them in a larger amount than before. So you might want to check again. I haven't checked. I haven't verified that. But anyway, option one is with the bundle. Option two is without the bundle. They both ship first class for $6. PDF only version is available in my PDF store that is already there. Um, the link to the video is on the first page of the PDF. And then of course my Sweet Stampede team gets it for $22, the kit. Um, I haven't listed, I haven't published it at all anywhere except for the registration. If you look on the second page of today's PDF, there is a link there that will take you to the details, the information and stuff. You can go over there and look at it. You can also email me for that registration. I will publish that blog post maybe next week, uh, maybe on Tuesday. Okay, it's a really beautiful class. Um, I am I'm in love with the projects. I think you will be too. It gets me excited for spring, all those fresh spring colors. Okay, so that is that. Club Create, we have about a week left for this month's club, or for February's Club Create. Um, it features the Flowering Tulips bundle. Um, I just checked, we're, we're teetering right there on the edge of how many can register, um, but I still have a few spots. So if you want to register for February's Club Create Kit, it's $39. It includes five projects and about $20 in product. And um, it is a subscription, which you can cancel anytime. There's also a PDF version available that also has a about a 40 minute video embedded in it. Um, the link to this is also on today's PDF, as well as at the top of my blog. There's a Club Create link right there at the top. Okay, <coughs> I still have a little bit of a cough. It's kind of going away, so hopefully... It's weird seeing yourself on camera. thought I saw something. Hopefully, um, my cough is not going to bother us today. Okay. So that's Club Create for February. Right now, subscription period is for February only, okay? March's, March's Club Create is the Hey Sports Fan Suite, the Your Biggest Fan. The, it's adorable. It's all kind of baseball themed, but really just like masculine type cards. Um, this is gonna be March's Club Create. My Club Create people are always wanting to know what's coming. This is what's coming in March. Don't subscribe right now. You have to wait until the 8th of next month to get this. But I just wanted to give you a little sneak peek. That will be March's Club Create. The Hey Sports, or Your Biggest Fan, Hey Sports Fan Suite in the Spring Catalog. Um, okay. All-Star Tutorial Bundle. This is the last time I'm going to be able to tell you about. <laughs> Ashley, you like the baseball? Yeah, I thought you would. It's a good one. And I mean, that stuff, That pro those products are beautiful. That paper is so fine, so the projects are over the top, super cute. And I don't have boys, but I still like to make those cute boy projects. Um, and, oh, well, you know what? I'm being, I'm being stereotypical, aren't I? But it could be for girls, too. My daughter's played softball for a long time. All right, I digress. <laughs> All-Star Tutorial Bundle. Um, the subscription to this is only available for about a few more days, not even a week. Monday will be the last day you can subscribe to the All-Star Tutorial Bundle. 12 video tutorials every month from 12 different Stampin' Up! demonstrators. Um, it is $15 a month. You get the sixth month for free. Um, the subscription is only available that first month. So once February 1st comes, I turn the subscription off. You also get it free if you spend over $50 with me um, in my Stampin' Up! store online. And uh, this month is the Sweet Talk. Next month, here's my project this month in this. Um, 
Also, let's see, next month's project. I actually have next month and the following month's projects planned because I accidentally did March's project. <laughs> I thought it was for February, but anyway, now I'm ahead. Um, it's a little boozy. My project next month is a little boozy treat box. That's all I'm going to show you. It's got to be a surprise. Um, but it features the artistically... Uh, oh, 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 oh. Wow. Thank you, UPS man. That scared me to death. Um, <laughs> sorry, guys, if your dogs are going crazy. I'm sorry, your cats or whatever. <sighs> that gave me a heart attack. Artfully layered bundle is this. Um, Carla, the sports fan PDF will be available February 8th. All of the club stuff becomes available on the 8th. All right. And this is all-star tutorial um paper pumpkin who needs a paper pumpkin we've got some extras super cute this month valentine's we're kind of on a time crunch with this one so if you need it get with me asap i've got a few extras it's called um hugs and kisses kisses and hugs it has a gray granite spot ink spot man my heart's still racing from those stupid dogs <laughs> man <gasps> Anyhow, this is what it looks like. There are some boxes you can also add on. There are little cards, little Valentine cards, trifold cards, really cute. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, stamp set, spot, email me if you need one and I'll get it out to you ASAP because Valentine's Day is coming up, two weeks. All right, so that's that. Um, what else? Oh, let's talk again about the starter kit real quick. What time is it? Oh, okay. I'm doing all right. Um, the starter kit during celebration. I didn't grab my celebration catalog. Celebration is upon us. This is the celebration catalog. You guys know I've been talking about it for weeks now. Um, we have about another month. It ends at the end of February. The starter kit special is always really good during celebration. It's $99.00. You pick out $125 in product of whatever you want from the annual catalog, the spring catalog, or clearance rack. And um, during celebration, you also add on two stamp sets. So $125 plus two more stamp sets and free shipping, all for $99. I put together last week a little kit to show you kind of what it would look like. You pick out, this is just probably what I would pick out right now, a bundle, a stamp set, paper, blends, ink pads, embellishment, um, and then two additional stamp sets. Of course, just a sample of it. You can add whatever you want to your starter kit. Um, I always say those extra stamp sets that you add on. Actually, I had a bundle and two stamp sets plus the additional two stamp sets. The additional stamp sets, there is no price limit on that. So go for the more expensive ones on your wish list. I mean, hello, if you're getting them for free. That's the best bang for your buck, right? Um, then you're part of my team. You can get my class kits at a uh, significant discount. All my PDFs go to my team for free. We have monthly team meetings via Facebook Live and locally. Um, we have monthly swaps, monthly creative challenges. We have prizes. Um, right now we're having a weekly creative challenge with prizes, um, rewards, all kinds of stuff and you'll have early access to the new annual catalog when it comes out um early in april okay all right so that is that there's a join link at the top of my blog if you have any questions maybe you're hesitant you're worried you don't know email me and i'll be happy to answer your questions there are a lot of things listed on that join page that may answer your questions so you might want to go um check it out um but of course i'm happy to answer questions as well Okay, oh, man, that whole dog explosion there at the door. That is what the dogs do. If you have a schnauzer, and I'm sure some other dogs, they're known for their barking. And I absolutely adore my dogs, but the barking. Oh, and they do that all day long. This morning I was up at 5.30 and Charlie saw like a car go by the front door and he went ballistic at 5.30. Her. And there's no way to change it. There's no way to fix it. For 10 years, 11 years now I've been trying. <laughs> I'm not a good dog trainer. I'm not. Okay, we are done. I've cleared the table. Let's do prizes. I end up talking about my dogs every week. Every week, I do. <coughs> every week. 
Um, this week we are doing nuts and bolts, right? I said that. Okay, prizes. That's what I was going to do. I'm distracted. Um, last week I have two best delivery stamp sets to give away. I said I would give them away to two people who share the video, either on Facebook or YouTube. And the two random winners are Cynthia Otto. I know it's backwards. And Irene Shoby. Irene, I know I have your mailing address. And Cynthia, maybe, maybe not. M email me, please, so that I can send you your prizes. Thank you so much for sharing. That helps me find new customers, new stampers, new friends. Um, and it's always, it's always nice um, when you guys do that. This week, how about Hostess Stamp Set? Mischief Mice. Somebody, and actually maybe it was you, somebody picked this for their, part of their free stuff during for Club Create this month. And when I was typing in, I was like, what stamp set is that? I don't even know what stamp set that is. I hadn't even noticed it. It's the host only stamp set. So I got it myself so I could give it away to two of you. It's really crazy cute. It's those little black line images that you can color. Very, very cute. So I've got two of them. I'll pick two winners next week um, to send those two for free. All right. Hello, I should talk about them every video. I don't know, some people don't like it. I, I always hear from a few that say, I don't wanna hear about your dogs. Stop, stop talking about your kids. Oh well, <laughs> you can always put me on mute. Um, actually, it was you, right? Yeah. Um, okay, so today, nuts and bolts. Do you guys have this? Did you think it was a Valentine's stamp set? I did. It's really not. I mean, it um, absolutely can be, and that's what we're gonna use it for today, but it totally can be anything else. I mean, it doesn't say Valentine's Day. Here's Pepper. Come here, you wanna say hello to everybody? You guys always ask about her. She needs a haircut. She's very naughty. She's getting a haircut on Monday. Say hi, guys. Say hi. <laughs> She's like, who in the world are you talking to? Um, this, this one right here that says, you make my heart go beep. I saw a card that had the cars that we used last week from driving by and they used that sentiment. So cute. All right. So if you haven't joined me for Facebook Friday, we make three projects with one stamp set usually. And I have a PDF that goes with it. I type up all the supplies as well as the measurements down here. Everything that I talked about at the beginning is also on, gosh, I can't turn the page, is also on the second page right there with some links for you. Um, if you would like to get these projects for free, I will send them to anybody who puts in an online order between now and Monday at midnight. And, um, and Rhonda, I'm gonna answer that in just a second. And, you have to use the host code, okay? So orders, all orders over 50, no, all orders over $35 that use the host code will get the three make and takes for free. If your order is over $150, don't use the host code because you're gonna get free stamp and rewards and I'll still send you the projects, okay? Um, Rhonda says, I wanna learn how to make those um, robots look rusty. Well, Rhonda, you ask and you shall receive. Look, that's my Monday project. There's a video. There's going to be a video on how to make him look cute and rusty. It's cute. I know. It's so cute. But that's Monday. All right. Let's get started. Let me... Oh, I was going to show you. This is what they look like when they come. The make and takes. You will need the nuts and bolts stamp set. But everything else will be in there for you. Um, I do make you a little thank you tag. But I don't send any stamped images. That is against the rules. If there's one golden rule of stamping up is you cannot, you cannot pre-stamp images, all right? And I follow the rules. <laughs> okay, let me turn you guys around. Whew, all right. I, um, this week felt like I didn't have a whole lot to do other than just designing. But man, I barely got it done. You know how things come up. I was like, just at doing this, doing that. I don't know. I always think, okay, I'm ahead. And then boom, I'm not ahead. Oh, it happens. All right, let me get my first tray over here. Now, I did mention um, I made, I do clean recordings of these. And what that means is I pre-record a video uh, that's on YouTube. So if you want to come back and watch it um, later, like you're going to make the project and you <coughs> need to see what I did or whatever, 
Um, if you don't want to have to go all the way through the Facebook Live where it's distracting and dogs are barking and I'm dropping things and all that, you can go to my blog post and underneath the photo, it will show you a link that takes you to the YouTube, little short, they're usually about 10 minute video, okay? Um, or you can just watch the recording of Facebook Live if you like chaos and craziness. <laughs> Cause that's usually how Facebook Live goes. All right, so everything is crooked. Let's see, I'm gonna turn, I think my phone is crooked. Um, I have the fan on. Okay, it's gonna shake for a second cause I touched it. If it's like swaying, I'm going to zoom in just a bit too. If it is, ooh, that was a lot. Uh-oh. Well, now we're going to have to leave it. Let's see. It did this weird thing. Hold on. Hold on. No, go down. One of these days, I'm going to, okay, that's zoomed in really good. Hopefully I can stay in that frame. One of these days, I'm going to get the fancy switcheroo software so that I don't have to do all of this one of these days I've tried it didn't like it y'all didn't like it didn't work right I don't like that okay hold on just hold on a second it's telling me first thank you very much I need to zoom out a little bit thank you very much oh gosh everybody hold your breath hold your breath cross your fingers let's hope that this doesn't freak out okay that feels like it zoomed out a little bit you can you can look back now <laughs> did you see my feet <laughs> maybe I have boots on today so nothing nothing too weird okay is this all straight I'm gonna I'm gonna get started here in a second I promise all right for this card I wanted to do a background that was like kind of like sciencey and so, of course, I thought about this mask, which we used for one of the astronaut cards. Do you remember? And um, actually, I think, yeah, we did. Um, and so we're going to use it here. I just felt like it kind of looked like it could be pieces of metal. This is from the um, basic, nope, plenty of patterns masks. All right. And I'm going to, this is a quarter sheet of basic white cardstock. That camera is moving. I'm going to turn that fan down. Um, <coughs> this is a quarter sheet of cardstock. You guys know I like to make my cardstock a little bit bigger so that I can trim off the edges if I need to. I put a little bit of adhesive here on my grid paper and I'm just gonna set that down. I like using grid paper because it gives you the lines and you can line everything up and it'll be straight. And post-it tape, right? Here's my cute post-it tape holder. I love it. Um, post it tape. I have a link today on um, my blog, so you can order post it tape if you need to. All right, we're gonna we're gonna use basic gray and a blending brush. I feel like I have been masking all week. I think because of those projects I just showed you guys, and something else. I did something else with masking. I don't know. I've been using blending brushes all week. Um. All right. So you want to start on the outside with your blending brush because when you set it down. It's gonna leave that hard mark. So you wanna set it down on the grid paper so that it leaves that hard mark, you know, that rough kind of ugly smush there on your grid paper and not on your white paper. All right, so you can go as dark or as light as you want. I'm gonna add some black dots, kind of like um, metal, you know, like grommets, metals, what do they call that? Like metal st stitching, not stitching, but you know, like screws all the way around, like some metal. So I don't want to go too dark. I like this basic gray color because it's kind of bluish. It's really pretty. Isn't that pretty? I think that's just beautiful. Okay, so we've got that done. Let's move this ugly paper, get our trimmer. Um, I, again, had it as a quarter sheet because, uh, I'm dropping things. Hold, please. Seriously, come on. All right, so I made it a quarter sheet so we can trim it because, see, sometimes I don't get the edges. The tape, you know, is for whatever reason, I didn't tape it right. So I like to make it just a little bit bigger. Look, part of last week's projects are still here. So we're going to cut it to four by... 
five and a fourth. And then I'm going to take my Stamperite markers. Stamperite markers are different than Stampin' Blends. Rivets, thank you. Rivets, woo, you guys. You were on the spot. Um, I, I had no comments, nothing. It was clear. And then I touched it and all your comments popped up. Um, okay, let me tell you the difference between a Stampin' Write marker and a Stampin' Blend. A Stampin' Write marker, which is what this is, is the markers we've had for a hundred years. I mean, forever, right? And it's like regular ink inside the marker. Um, it has like a pin in. Can you guys see? It's it's different than the bullet end on a Stampin' Blend. Um, and it behaves like, like a marker. So if you were... We're going to color with it, which I should have mentioned. Also, on the other end, there is a brush end. See that? Like a It looks like a calligraphy, calligraphy pen. Um, if you're going to color with it, it's going to look like you colored it with, you know, like Crayola markers, you know, kind of streaky. Um, it's These are good for if you have stamps, like let's say... This is a solid stamp and you want to color the bottom of him red and the top of him green. You use this in and you color it, color it and stamp. That's how you can get multiple colors on a stamp. So that's what these markers are good for. The only marker you can buy individually is this basic black one. It's really good to have. Um, I also use it sometimes every now and then I have like a Something happens with a stamp and I need to just add a little bit of a, like a mark or a, you know, a line. This marker is really good for that. So then on the flip side are our Stampin' Blends. We have had Stampin' Blends for not very long. I would say, oh, I don't know. What do you guys, five, seven, five to seven years. We had some, we had a, a different version of Stampin' Blends and then the current Stampin' Blends came out. They are alcohol markers. So the ink inside Stampin' Blends are not the same as our ink pads. Um, they, they react differently. When you color with them, you're not going to have marker streaks and marker lines. Um, they color really well. It's almost like paint. All right. So that's kind of the difference. The, the Stampin' Write markers, you can get in every single color every single Stampin' Up! color, but they sell them as a set. You can, well, I take that back. They sell them in color families, and then they sell them as one large set, all right? All right, so I added some dots. Let me hold it up. I'm afraid to zoom in again, I'm gonna screw it up. See that? I just added some dots around, some rivets. <laughs> stitching, metal stitching. Um, I like both markers. I think both markers have a place there. I don't think they, it's like comparing apples and oranges. I don't think, you know, like they're either or. I think they're for two different things. Um, I use my Stampin' Blends 10 times more than I use my Stampin' Write markers. So there's that. So anyway, that's just my whole spiel on our markers. Now we're gonna stamp this cute little guy I put that on a real red card base. We're gonna stamp this little robot guy in Memento. I mentioned the Stampin' Blends are alcohol markers, so you have to use a water-based ink, um, which is what our Memento is. Um, you can also use our regular ink with Stampin' Blends, um, but this is the black that we have as of right now that you can use with Stampin' Blends. All right, I, um, when I started planning these projects, I'm using real red light. I googled cute robots, cute robot drawings, cute robot clip art. I, I was like, I need some ideas because the only ideas I could think of were silver robots. Well, guess what? Majority of the things I saw were not silver. They were colored, they were cute, all bright different colors. So don't feel like you have to get pegged into coloring him silver. Um, so we're going to color him red and then we're going to color one pool party in a little while. Now I'm going to take my, um, I'm going to use my dark. Now, Carla, you use them with your regular ink pads, like your colored ink pads, because they will work with these ink pads. Or do you mean like a different, like a different black? 
Um, it, the problem if you use if you use the Stampin' Blends with let's say like stays on, which you would need for watercoloring, they're both like a solvent and they're gonna smear each other. They're not it, the black would not you know stay like it is here. But then if you used this black memento with water coloring, it's going to smear crazy. So that's why you would want to use stays on. Now I'm not a big expert on inks. That's about the extent. I don't play with other inks. I just do stampin' up inks. And so if you guys ask me technical questions, <laughs> I'm going to say, um, let me, let me get back. Let me circle back. Let me circle back. Um, but that's all I know. And that's pretty much all you probably need to know if you're gonna use our inks. All right, so I'm adding a little bit of dark around this side, like that's the side of his, um, where the, the, the light source is coming this way. So he's got a shadow on that side. I'm using the bullet end here to color him. One other thing I'm gonna do Man, I have to sit down to color. I'm standing up and I'm at getting out of the lines everywhere. One other thing I'm gonna do is use the color lifter. This is one you buy on its own individually. It's $4.50. Is I'm gonna do like up here in the corners like that. So we have kind of shine marks where it would be kind of light like that, just to add a little bit of contrast. All right, and we'll take Smoky Slate and color in his little metal flower. <laughs> is what is that? What what is that called? All you metal experts out there, tell me, because I don't know. <laughs> that thing he's got, that piece of I don't even know what to call it. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, with a regular black? Yeah, it washed out the outline. It's smeared. Yeah. Ooh, and doesn't it? It's an awful feeling. Like, oh, yuck. Okay, so this is a strip of silver foil, quarter inch. I'm going to put that right under his feet so he's not floating around. And then I have a real red stitched heart that I cut with the Give It A Whirl dies. I think I use the Give It A Whirl dies every single week. The hearts, the clouds, the stars. <laughs> Every week, I when I type up my PDF, I take last week's, I copy it, and I change all the stuff. And every week, those give it a whirl dies are already on there, and I don't have to type them in. They're a good set. And you know what? I don't think I've even hardly used the actual intention. We need to do a give it a whirl card, don't we? You guys have requested that one that turns, you know, and I haven't done it. I need to do it. All right, so we've got him on a black mat. The measurements for this is on the PDF, so you can go look at the PDF. We're gonna put that on with dimensionals. And then we're gonna stamp the sentiment. <coughs> you guys, let me ask you about this cough, because I know I've got some experts out there. I've got this lingering cough from you know what. It's just almost like my throat is addicted to coughing, because there's nothing there. Do you guys know what I mean? Like it's that, almost like a reflex. How do you get rid of that? Anybody have any suggestions? Not congested, really. It's just a weird, annoying, it won't go away. And my family's like annoyed by it. <laughs> my girls are like looking at me. You didn't cover your mouth very well, mom. I'm like, oh my gosh, give me a break. They're, they're tired of me coughing. I'm going to cut these apart. I'm going to look. We'll see what you guys say. You do too, Ashley, from the, the C, the big C. Did you have the big C, the little C? <laughs> I had the little C. It wasn't big. Um, I'm going to cut these apart like we did when we were in high school. Remember, we would cut letters out of our magazines and glue them on paper. Do you guys remember that? I'm sure you did that too, right? That's what we're doing here. This is kind of a fun whimsical card um i'm nuts and bolts about you who thinks of these things seriously all right i'm going to use the edge of my dimensionals i hope you guys use these up and don't throw them away i don't like to use them it annoys me 
but I also don't want to waste. All right, you guys are giving me lots of um, <coughs> suggestions. Joan, don't even tell me that. Oh, she says, have had mine for a year, won't go away, doctor has no solution. Oh my gosh, Mucinex DM. So Cynthia, okay. I have used Mucinex and it does nothing for me. Maybe I need to get the DM. Maybe I don't have the right kind. Even if I'm not congested, I know this is a, this is a crazy conversation that we're having. You guys are like disgusting. I don't want to hear about your cough. Um, but I need to crowdsource this here because nobody in my family knows, and I do not want to go to the doctor for it. Um, let me see. Mints. Yeah, Molly, I have been doing that. That does help. That that does help. Um. Vapor rub on your feet at night. That's one of those weird vapor rub <laughs> um, old wives things that work, Rhonda, right? I will try that. Um, I hate sleeping with socks on, though. Ugh. Let's see. Get a prescription from your doc for pearl drops. Kate, really? I've never heard of that. Um, Ashley, yep, that's, yep. Hall's defense. Ooh, okay. I'm going to have to come back and read all. You guys are giving me amazing comments. So anybody who watches in the replay and says something ugly about me talking about my cough. <laughs> Can you guys tell I've had some, um, some haters lately? I've had a few haters. All right. I'm nuts and bolts about you. Okay. One more thing. We got to add some bling. I didn't add a bow because he's a robot. Let's put a, 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 uh, Hello, what am I saying? Rhinestone in the middle of his thing, his metal flower. We'll add some. I can see your comments going by. Thank you, guys. I'm going to come back and I'm going to read every single one of the suggestions. And then if I find something that works, I will share it next week for all of those of you who are in the same boat. You know, this whole, and I don't want to say the word because then I'll get censored or something. But you know, the thing that's going around um, it's bizarre. And maybe it's just that we all know what it is. You know, back in the day when we just get a cold and maybe I got a cold and you got a cold, we wouldn't know if it was the same virus, right? I mean, remember we'd get a cold and we just, whatever. But now that we all know what virus we have, we're comparing symptoms and it is just super weird, super weird. Everybody's different. Everybody. Okay. Ta-da. <laughs> There is my first card. You guys like it? Those of you that send cards to your grandkids, here you go. Super cute. You could change the colors. It doesn't even have to be <coughs> red. I just, in my mind, I was thinking Valentine's, um, which it could be. Oh, look, I forgot to put a rhinestone right there. Okay, hold on. Right there. I always like to put a rhinestone on the corner of the heart. Okay. I get a drink. And move this over and move on to our next project. Now I've got two 3D projects this week because I was thinking of Valentine's Day. And on my little sneak peek picture I posted, someone said, I see Reese's. Who was it? Which one of you said that? Yeah, so I found these. Either Target or Walmart. I think it was Target or Walmart. <laughs> I can't remember. But I'm sure you can find them. You know what? They didn't have them on Amazon, though. I've not seen these long little tubes. My youngest would live off Reese's if she could. So I'm always getting the Reese's. Six mini Reese's. And we're going to make a long tube like we did at Christmas for that. That little robot is just the cutest. What was that movie? Do you guys remember? There was a movie in the last... 10, 15 years that had a robot. He looked like that. He's so cute. He is very cute. It had a weird name. Hmm. Am I thinking of the right thing? Okay. Let's make this box really easy. Let me get my Simply Scored. <coughs> Thanks, Betty. I'm obsessed with candy. So I have this giant Stampin' Up box of candy and treats and stuff sitting in the room next door and my girls are constantly going in there or if we're at the store they're like hey mom look you need to buy this for your uh projects because they know that i only use like a quarter of it and then they get to eat the rest of it wally do you think it's no i don't think it's wally wally was round there was another one where he was like big and gray 
Iron Giant, patience, that's it, Iron Giant. That's who he looks like, right? So cute. All right, if you don't know, look him up, Google him. Five by nine and three-fourths, real red. I'm gonna score the short side at half an inch, one and a fourth, two and three-fourths, and three and a half, okay? Then turn it and three-fourths and nine. <coughs> Ugh, if I start thinking about it, I'm gonna start coughing. <laughs> okay, before we do that, let's stamp the little red hearts. I love a good heart stamp. And this one has hearts, little like, they look like hand-drawn hearts. So we're just gonna stamp, turn your stamp as you go, turn your paper. You want your hearts to all be going different directions. You know, I always have to ink twice. Do you guys do that? I always go, do do and I don't need to do that. So I have to consciously just do one. I always wanna double tap my ink. Really, you just need one, like that. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now, now we can burnish. Thanks for sharing, Maria, I appreciate it. Short Circuit, Peggy, that was a really long time ago. Remember that movie? That was in the 80s. That was a cute, 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 cute movie. How many of you have seen Flight of the Navigator? That is a movie my husband had never seen. We're the same age. My brother and I watch that all the time. It's on Disney+. Plus. You can show it to your kids. Flight of the Navigator. That wasn't a robot. It was an alien, but kind of the same thing. <laughs> all right. This end is the, this is the first one you scored at half an inch. We're going to um, cut those squares off, cut that off at an angle right there. Do the same thing over here. Flight of the Navigator. My brother and his wife have been showing their, their son, my nephew, all the old school Disney movies on Disney Plus. There's lots of really fun ones on there. Flight of the Navigator. We watched that. And then I remember in high school, we went to Disney World. And remember when Disney, it was called MGM, that park that had, it was, I don't know, what is, what is it called now? Uni Universe, Universal, it's not Universal Studios. It's, well, anyway, Hollywood Studios. And um, they had the Flight of the Navigator. He comes in like this teardrop spaceship. They had it on the back lot tour. I remember being so impressed by that. All right, adhesive right here. I'm using Stamp and Seal. Um, you can, if you're concerned about Stamp and Seal, which I think works pretty good for 3Ds, use Tear and Tape, Tombow, Stamp and Seal Plus. I'm just for the ease and the sake of the video. I am going to use what I have sitting right here. So we fold up the bottom. We're going to leave the top open so that our recipient doesn't have to tear the box apart. And then they can close back up after they get their candy out and put it on display on a shelf somewhere where everyone can ooh and ah over the adorable project that you gave them. And they won't throw it in the trash, surely. All right, this is our gray granite shimmer ribbon. And I'm gonna take it down around the bottom, tie it at the top. I like tall skinny boxes, I've made what is this, our third tall and skinny box in the last few months? I really do like them. Ooh, I'm wasting too much ribbon, hold on. I don't like to waste ribbon, especially when I'm gonna send you guys ribbon in your make and take kits. All right, we're gonna tie that. What are you guys having for dinner tonight? I need some ideas. We usually order out on Friday nights, but we're kind of tired of that too. I don't know. What do you guys do? Do you have a traditional Friday night dinner that you do? Friday night feels, I mean, I definitely don't want to cook something big on a Friday night. What do you guys do on Friday nights? I don't want to go out. I don't want to cook. <laughs> uh, cereal? Cereal's a good dinner. My kids balk when I say that. But hey, I like cereal. Okay, let's do our cute little, what was he called? Iron Giant. We're gonna stamp him again. Pork loin, Brandy, that's fancy. Didn't you work all day? That's fancy, is it in the crock pot maybe? P 
pizza. Friday's a good pizza night, right, Robin? Feta pasta from TikTok. Pam, I've seen that. I've seen that. Who would have thought we could find recipes on TikTok? Um, fajitas. Oh, Nidia, we get fajitas. That's what we usually get takeout. We love fajitas. Homemade chicken pot pie. Nina, you guys cook on Friday nights, don't you? Y'all are fancy on Friday nights. I don't cook Friday nights or Saturday nights. Occasionally, I will cook on a Friday night. All right, we're going to do him gray. We're going to do silver, okay? Um, smoky slate, light. I'm going to start here in the middle of his body. You want to work in small sections because um, these are alcohol markers and they will dry pretty quickly. I mean, not instantaneously, but, but we want to blend. So we need it to stay somewhat not dry. I'm not going to use that other word. <laughs> it popped in my head. Now I'm going to take my dark and I'm going to go around his arms and that little heart. Okay. I'm going to add some dark there because there will be a shadow behind that. And then I'm going to put it down here along the rivets. Thank you very much for the vocabulary lesson. And then I'm going to take my light and I'm going to blend, 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 blend all of it in. Now I went over to my mom's yesterday for a coloring lesson. You guys, my mom is a professional artist and we have this new stamp set that you guys are going to see next week on Facebook Friday called All Together and it's hands and the designer series paper also has hands and I need it. We have all these new wonderful um, skin tone stamp and blends. So I'm going to put a dark line there and a dark line there. Um, so I went over to my mom so she gave me a little lesson and one thing I realized she was kind of showing me is that when you put a dark line like that, you don't necessarily always have to blend it in. When you're looking at it, what, right after you make it, it looks like, whoa, a hard line. But if you look at it, you know, look away, come back, look at it, it looks like a shadow instead of that hard line. So just keep that in mind. She also said, I'm going to take my color lifter again and kind of go around the outside edges so it'll be light. She also says at her art desk, she keeps a mirror. And if you look at your artwork in a mirror, you have a whole different perspective on it. And you kind of can see, you know, see it in, in a different lens. Which I thought, well, that's interesting. I don't know, it was really interesting. I need to share with you guys a picture of something that she drew, something really cute. She's doing a, she teaches um, painting, drawing on a website called Sketchbook School. It's for artists. Um, if you're an artist, you might want to check it out. She's doing a class on um, food drawing. I don't think she's on here. Mom, are you on here? Um she, every lesson is food. They're drawing different kinds of food. And she did this little cartoon drawing of her holding cookies. And it is the cutest thing you have ever seen. So I'm going to share it with you guys. I took a picture of it. She's, she's so good. She's an amazing artist. You're right, Carla. If I do say so. All right. Greetings, kind human. So funny. Now, this, for this project, I used quite a few dyes. All right, let's see, will this fit in here? No, we're gonna have to cut this a little bit. Um, and I'll tell you what the dyes are as we go. Um, I'm using the beautiful shape dies. We used these last week, and you guys, many of you said you're gonna get on board with these because you like them. The hexagons are quickly becoming a favorite. So that's the second largest hexagon. I'm using this little label from the Floral Galleries <coughs> dies. And I'm going to put that right there. I'm using my mini cut and emboss machine. It's so much easier to pull over here. It's so super light. I'm going to run that through. <gasps> Oops. My fan fell over. I don't know why I even have that there. It's winter. I don't need it. Okay. There we go. Hexagon die. Floral die. Then... I went, sometimes, I told you guys last week, I like to look 
through my stamps and my dies and kind of think of things that may not necessarily go together. Um, so I found this little die. Let me pull it up so you can see it. Look at that. It's a little lightning bolt. Do you guys know which die set that is from? The hat builder dies. So I thought that's really cute. And I think that needs to go with our robot. So here's the new paper. This is a sneak peek. It's called, it's called, <laughs> I'm looking, I'm looking at my cheat sheet all together. It is coming out next week with all that, the hands and stuff. We're going to do, I'm going to show you all of that next week on Facebook Friday, but this is a <coughs> black and white set of DSP, uh, all black and white, but you can't order it until the first. So if you try to put in an order this weekend, unfortunately, you won't be able to order that paper until the first. All right. Oh, I kind of like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I think we're going to do this side this time. The patterns are so great. Don't you hate it when both sides of a, of a piece has really good patterns and you have to pick just, you know, one side? I hate when that happens. All right, I'm getting new dimensionals. I don't like using this sheet. I have a whole new pack right here. Oh, a new sheet of dimensionals. It's heaven, isn't it? I gotta come back. What are you guys having? I'm seeing yum. <coughs> Leftover chicken. It's chicken soup. That's always a win. I love soup. You guys know I've told you that. Thanks, Carrie. A colorer? Yes, I think so. And I'm really not. I just, I just am brave, I think. And I just, who said Mexican food and margaritas? Where did I see that? Patricia, I'm coming to your house. I actually was thinking about that. Do you guys know Torchy's Tacos? Is that lo just local? I think so. It's kind of a, not really fast food tacos. It's like, um, oh, what would you call it? Like bougie tacos. You know, it's just kind of expensive tacos, but they have really good margaritas. And I was thinking about that earlier. But margaritas have a lot of calories, you guys. <laughs> That's why they're so good. Stitched Heart. This is not from the Give It A World Eyes. This is a different shape. Um, it's a little more, less rounded and it is from the bouquet and I don't have it here. The bouquet of love hybrid embossing folder and dies. Um, and I used our rainbow glimmer paper to cut out that heart, put that there. And then we'll take our little lightning bolt and put that right there. Let's see, where do I have my, take your pick tool so I can pick that up, put that down right there okay i use the basic border dies here to cut out a little basic white rickrack i use these every week too uber eats is bringing it from taco cabana and make look what low cal margaritas at taco cabana patricia you got to be kidding me why did i not know that taco cabana is a local right it's just in texas um, you guys, during the pandemic, Taco Cabana was, well, yeah, it was all during the pandemic doing, what do they call it? Mar Margarita Palooza, where you could get $2 margaritas in like 20 different flavors. It's like a fast food Mexican food place. And when you ordered them, they gave you the margarita slush, you know, and then like a little airplane bottle of the tequila and you could mix it. Well, my girls... We're like, well, can I have that without the, you know, because it didn't have any alcohol in it. So now my <laughs> youngest loves margaritas and she'll say, can we have margaritas tonight? And I'm like, Addie, shh, people are going to think I'm feeding you alcohol. They are basically slushies, but they're so good. And she's always wanting to get them from Taco Cabana. That is hilarious, Patricia. I'll have to check that out. Um, wait, I just missed. Oh, you make your own margarita. Locale, mm, margaritas. Okay, we're done. How cute, right? Cute. Look, greetings, kind human. Now, that would be a cute... Oh, I didn't add Wink Stella. That would be a really cute class gift treat. Sandy, you're watching. Sandy makes treats for her kids, her grandkids' um, classroom. Um, one thing that the kids do not want is a mushy, gushy Valentine that says, like, I like you, I love you, kiss me, all that. Ew, they don't want any of that, anything to do with that. And a lot of Valentines say that. But this, 
that's that's safe. I think that would be very safe. <laughs> okay, there you go. Project two is done. Project three is pretty fast and easy, so let's get that one done. What time is it? Oh, okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm so thirsty. Hold on. Okay. Now, let me make room for last but not least... I've got another candy holder for you. This also features that paper. You know, I'm just gonna show you guys that paper. I have it over here in this box. This is the All Together Designer Series paper that's coming out, is it already open? That's coming out on Monday, or no, Tuesday the 1st. Um, it won't be in the catalog. It's only like, you know, online only and it's all black and white. And so it has hands that you can use your new skin tone blends, but it also has all this, look, how cute, rainbow, those hands. Um, it just, oh, I love that print. It has really good patterns in it, hearts. I love that one. So this will be coming out Tuesday, six by six, it's $11.50. And you better believe I'm going to be using it a lot. Um, I don't, have they said while supplies last? I don't think they said that. Who knows? Does anybody know? Somebody out there will know. Okay. <coughs> Next. You make my heart go beep. So cute. Inside, I've made this box before. It fits a Ghirardelli square. Just the square ones. But I found these at the grocery store, Sweet Talkers. They're Russell Stover. I could not find them on Amazon either. I don't know what's up with the Amazon not having the candy that I'm using. But I got these because I thought, well, I've never seen those before. That's fun. Crazy Cupid Love. I thought it said Crazy Stupid Love. <laughs> um, but anyway, they're marshmallow and milk chocolate. All right, so that's what we're going to use. This will fit other candies too if you can't find that. Okay, Another thing I want to say is that I made the one on the clean recording different than the original. Let me show you the original. And I didn't realize it until I had already done it. So I'm going to show you the two ways. Why can't I get the belly band off? Oh my gosh. It's a belly band. It should just slide off. Something's caught. I think I tied the ribbon too tight. What the heck? Jeez. All right. Now that I've tore it apart. So this is what it looks like. It opens like this and it has these little flaps. On the clean recording, I glued those flaps down and it's fine. The only thing is that then you have a gap. So either way you want to do it works totally fine, whichever. All right. Okay, so that's that. Let me show you how to make it. We're gonna use that cute paper again. Any of the, the pieces there, well, most of the pieces in that pack will work. Maybe not the hands. <laughs> I don't know, maybe that wouldn't work. But all the other patterns will work. Um, okay, so Teresa said the dyes are, they said the dyes would be only while supplies last. I know that, the only the blends will be in the catalog the paper oh amanda it does say dsp while supplies last hi amanda um all right well you guys know what that means pretty much everything right now is <laughs> while supplies last oh, i um messed up my car let me tell i'll tell you that story in a second um i want to tell you what i'm doing here first this is a piece all the measurements are right here six and a half oh uh-oh did I type that wrong? Let me look at my notes because my paper is wrong. Um, where are my notes? I think it's six and a half. I mean, I think it's five and a half. Where are my notes? Well, my cheat sheet is not, oh, it's, oh my gosh, it's literally right in front of my face. Um, okay, five and a half. If you've printed the PDF, change that. It should say five and a half. I'll fix it when I'm done. Five and a half by seven on the... Let's do the long side first. Two and three eighths and four and five eighths. One, two, three, four, five. Then, did I do that right? Yeah. Then the short side, three fourths, one and a half, four, four and three fourths. 
All right. Now, we're going to cut out. Let's burnish the lines. I like to burnish the lines first. I don't know where my bone folder ran off to. Is it over here? Yeah, here it is. Burnish the lines. So the story I'm going to tell you guys is that I messed my car up. The night we went to see Hamilton, I somehow missed the still beam <laughs> that was next to my car, and I crunched the side of my car. Anyway, the point of my story is we took my car in yesterday to get it worked on, and he said that every other car he's working on, the parts are on back order. Every other car. He says it's taking three, four, five weeks to get cars done because all the parts are on back order. <sighs> so... The moral of the story is Stampin' Up's not the only one. <laughs> okay, I digress. We're going to cut off the four corners, okay? Cut them off. Cut them off. I know that that story is true with a lot of things. By the way, you guys have been asking about our new house. Um, we bought a lot in a, um, kind of a large lot in a neighborhood that's pretty established, but it's all built on your own lot type houses, and you have to have your house plan approved by the HOA and they denied our house plan. <laughs> so now we're kind of like, uh, what do we do now? So it's just going to, who knows how long it's going to be until we get the house. We think we've got a solution, but anyways, you guys have been asking now these right here, we're going to, these are like arms that are going to fold in. So I'm going to cut straight down. They denied our house plan because part of the garage can be seen from the front. They only want side entry garages. I know. I know. We won't talk about it. All right, so here's what your piece looks like, right? Oh, the other thing we need to do, did I put my corner around our way? Yes, I did. Let me grab that. We've got to round the corners. Yeah, denied, denied. And let me tell you, it's a gorgeous house. Um, I will have a studio building out in the front. It's called a casita um, here in San Antonio. That's what they call it. It's like a mother-in-law suite house, and it's going to be my studio. Um, and it covers up about 80% of the garage because it's, it's in front, but they can see a tiny sliver. And the, the HOA rules say the garages must be side entry, even though the house next door has a front garage, but whatever. It's a well-established neighborhood. We're one of the very last empty lots. So, uh, I don't know. God has a plan, right? God has a plan. Maybe he's telling us not now <laughs> because interest rates are going up. Who knows? All right, I put adhesive right here, here and here. And we're going to take those arms, fold them in like that. Okay, we're making like a little box, a little tray here. All right, now here's the part I was telling you about. These flaps, you can fold them in and adhere them, or you can leave them, which I think is better. I think it's better because then it doesn't leave that gap. If you fold them in and you put your candy in, these little things kind of poke out. But if you poke it, put it that way, they don't. But the original design is like this. So we'll, we'll leave it like that, okay? Fold those in. Now grab your bone folder. <laughs> Denise... What, what did she say? Bigger casita. Yeah, let me tell you. It's in Denise's neighborhood. It's not very far from here. Um, it's a very big casita where we're going to be able to have our team meetings. And I'm going to have a much bigger situation. It'll be nice if I ever get there. Take your bone folder and curl those up. Okay? Curl those so that they kind of are rounded over like that. Now, I've got two pieces of that paper. And they're two by four. Um, we need an eight inch piece, but the, the paper only comes six by six, which no problem, we'll make our own eight inch long piece. So now you're gonna take it and you're gonna wrap it around to make that belly band. Don't make it as tight as I made that other one. And put adhesive right there, fold it over right there, okay? So then it'll slide off. Now, here is the new ribbon. This is on low inventory right now. If you got my Sweet Conversations class, this is the ribbon that is coming in your kit. It's faux linen. It's very light, very airy. 
and uh, I love it. I love red, uh, of course. I would love any red, ribbon that's red, but this is just a light and easy ribbon. If you use it on your cards, it's not really gonna add any bulk because it's so lightweight. All right, boom and boom. There we go. How cute, I like that pattern. That's really cute. All right, now let's make our little robot. We're doing this one. And you will have noticed that I have not made you fussy cut yet today, right guys? There has been no fussy cutting until now. I'm sorry. But you know, you could do a different. You could stamp him directly on the heart if you wanted to. Um, I think you could make that work. <laughs> now, let me see. I I have some, some things going on here. This one is dark and light. I don't know how I ended up with two dark caps. That's weird. This is pool party. Pool party light is what we'll start with. We're gonna color that in. Kind of the same deal. We're gonna add a shadow below his arm. I like how he's looking to the side. Cause you can put things to the side that he's looking at. All right, now I'm gonna come over here and go real light around his eyes. Like that. And I'm gonna take the dark. I'm gonna put some shadows kind of going up from there. All right, and then down here we'll do dark. Let's see, I'm not gonna blend that in. Let's see if it looks how it looks, like my mom told me. Now up here, I'm gonna take my dark. I'm gonna go right along there. I'm not gonna color it in. I'm gonna take my color lifter, and I'm gonna do like this so it bleeds up. It looks like there was some color already on my color lifter. What the heck? All right. One thing you need to be careful of too with your Stampin' Blends is that if you put too much color, it will bleed out of the lines. Um, if you keep layering color, 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 it will bleed out. That's happened to me several times this week with the um, Skin Tone Blends because I just couldn't stop shading and adding stuff. So just be, be aware of that. Um... <laughs> Cliffy, she says, you cut so much of that red ribbon off. I know I did. But this, I ac accidentally ordered too much of it. So, meh, I know. <laughs> I'm usually like that too. But I have, I actually have like five extra bolts that I didn't mean to order. That's funny. All right, go around with your paper snips. Don't be too hard on yourself. Just go around, make a little cloud. If you look at other people's things online, most people are not perfect fussy cutters. And you don't have to be perfect either. All right, so our paper snips are still not in stock. It says February. I think they're sitting out in the Pacific, waiting their turn in line. <laughs> but February, which is next month, next week. Not too much longer, but I think it's actually the middle of February. Okay, there we go. Wasn't it just December? Like five minutes ago, and now we're already talking about February. And then it'll be summer, and you guys will hear me complaining nonstop about the heat. All right, my favorite cute little sentiment, you make my heart go beep. We're going to put that on the right side. This is the the heart cut from the um, bouquet of love. Bouquet of love. I lost my stamp. Is it still over here? Yep. Bouquet of love hybrid. It says embossing folder, but it has the matching dies. We'll put those up there like that. We'll put on our little little dude with the dimensional. Why do the comments keep disappearing? You like the light blue robot? Something different than gray, yes. Google cute robots and you will see how many colors. Do I know what colors are returning pretty soon? No, I haven't heard anything about color refresh. Is that what you're asking about? Um, but you guys, in March, in a little over a month, I'm going to Salt Lake City for my million dollar trip. It's different this time. They're, they're doing yearly million dollar retreats now basically my husband and I are going for I think six days 
and maybe I'll get I'll get some I'll get the low down for you guys. All right, there we go. Look how cute! All the different patterns. This is an easy one. This is an easy box you can make multiples of for sure, and it fits a Ghirardelli square perfectly. <coughs> okay, so there we go. We've got three Valentine projects. Although again, it's not a Valentine set. On Monday, if you missed the very beginning of my video, on Monday I've got this card for you with a rusty robot. Um, I saw somebody, I think it was one of the artisans maybe, had done a rusty robot, and I was like immediately had to try. <laughs> so I've got a video for you on Monday to show you how to make a rusty robot with that little red heart. Um, funny story, you might have noticed when I showed you a minute ago, this was my original, and then this was the one I made for the video. And while I was making this one, I dropped the ink pad right there. And I I was able to change that out, but I, I'm too lazy to change that out. Don't you hate it when you uh, drop an ink pad or you drop something on an ink pad? So cute. He looks like the Iron Giant there. <coughs> Okay, so be looking for that on Monday. Um, you guys, if you would like these make and takes, not this one, these plus this one um, for free, I will be happy to send it to you as a thank you for your order um, by Monday at midnight. Minimum order is $35. Please use the host code. If you don't use the host code, I do not send you the projects. If you somehow forget the host code, email me because I can call Sam it up and apply it. But um, Many of you don't use the host code. I take that as an indication you don't want the projects. Um, if your order is over $150, I need to show you this from time to time because I don't think everybody knows this. If your order is over $150, there's this chart at the back of the catalog. See, it says party sales, but it doesn't have to be a party. If your order is over $150, you're going to start earning stamp and rewards and you earn 10%. Okay, but if you use that host code, you don't get that. I use the host code to replenish my cardstock supply, but I want you to use the host code if you're spending that much money, okay? I want you to be able to get some rewards. I will still send you the projects automatically if your order is over $150. But if it's not, please use the host code. Does that make sense? Host code is above the little total on your shopping cart page. Okay, we made it. We did it. I will be back next week at two o'clock with three projects with brand new products called All Together, In It Together, something like that. We're going to color with Stampin' Blends. Um, I hope you'll join me. Let me know if you have any questions. And uh, um, this class, don't forget, click on the link that's on the PDF and it will take you to the information um, or email me and I'll send it to you. All right, guys, have a wonderful weekend and uh, make sure to check back on Monday for that fourth project. Bye, guys. Thanks so much.